Paisley video part two. Here it is. It's the one I prepared earlier. And you can see... Ooh, hello. Focus. Damn you. Right, you can see all the little beadies all in a row. Making a kind of vague Paisley shape. It's not perfect, but then... Very little is, really. Is it? I'm waffling again. Okay, next, anyway, I need to get my flicky stick. Give it a good wash. I've got to choose a colour, and I next I do the kind of flicks around here. Oh, hello. Just drop some paint on there. Um, yeah, to make it a nice, pretty frilly paisley pattern. Um, there's my choice of colours at the moment. I could mix something different. What am I? I'm thinking purple again. I've got a purple obsession, I think. I don't know if that goes with pink and orange. I'm going to put some gold in it, definitely. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with a darker purple. You can barely see that line up really now, but it's just... I have to pick a colour. That's what I went for. So, we get our darker purple. This is um, acrylic paint. It's Dala Rowney, System 3. Nice, reasonable priced, what most people class as student paint, really. It's, um, yeah... It's your yeah, sort of basic quality paint, but I like it because it's the right consistency for doing these flicks. Um, it's the only paint I've found that I can really do it with. And what we do is get a nice big blob of paint on the end of our stick um, and then pull it to a point. Okay. Now the point just gives us um, a good starting point again. Point. <coughs> Excuse me for starting our flick so we know exactly where we're going to be so I'll try and keep it oops try and keep it as a sort of standard distance away from the beads and I get my blob and then I flick you have to be quite brave that one's actually gone onto the bead but I don't care because I'm a rebel no it really doesn't it doesn't matter it doesn't detract from it in any way really if you think it does you can wipe it off so, I will just continue. I'm obviously a lot quicker than this again um, when I'm doing it without holding a camera in the other hand. Um, but you take your time if you're doing this. And I would suggest practicing flicks on a plain piece of paper um, and seeing how you get on. My daughter was doing it the other day actually. She's decided she wants to be an arty jick. And here's our little practice board, and she did really well. Well done, Neve. I'm quite proud of you for those. Some really good ones on there. Um, so she's going to be taking over from me, obviously, as soon as possible, so that I can put my feet up, eat cake, and she can get the money rolling in. That would be nice. Okay. So we keep flick, flick, flick. Going around the paisley pattern. Again, I won't bore you with watching the whole thing. Um, do a couple more. Definitely advisable to practice before you actually start this on a canvas because it can take quite a bit of practice to get these right. Okay, and I'll um, continue in a minute when I finish those. Check out my flicks, look at those. Oh, all done. So it's starting to take on a paisley sort of you know, look now. Uh, I've got to have a think about what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to go and have a coffee and uh, I'll be back. Okay. Okay, decision made on the next move. I've picked this sort of pale turquoise colour. And I'm doing some little reverse flicks in between the purple ones. Which I will go around and complete and get back to you again in a minute. There you go, there's the reverse flicks. So we've got a nice border now around our paisley. I've got to think about what I'm going to put in the centre. Um, probably it would have been a good idea to do that before I did anything else, but I'm a bit like backwards sometimes and I like to uh, get kind of a frame going on and then decide what I want to put in the middle. Um, obviously you can do it however, you know with your fancy. I'm going to leave it at that for now while I have a think um, and I'll get back with part three as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.